All right, people, how are we doing today? Beautiful, beautiful morning is shaping up to be out here. It's almost 8 o'clock now. Uh, it's August 2nd, 2017. I'm just doing a little bit of a garden update. And uh, I got a bit of stuff to do today. Because we're heading out in a few days on a holiday for a few days. So I gotta do a bit of yard work and clearing some stuff out. So I figured I'd just do a little garden update. And this is kind of what I'm going to be working on today. A bit of clearing back all this stuff back here. So I just thought I'd point this out. So the second day of August, August 2nd. And uh... This is the first plant with uh, pollen sacs, indications of a male, right here. These little ball like things. Um, and that's only on this one plant here in the back corner. The rest of them don't have that. See, if you look at the rest of them here, they just got these little hairs on them. Um, and that's the same for all of them pretty much. Here's a, the other ones are all, uh, Venus flytrap. Here's the purple train wreck. Even this one doesn't have anything like that. It almost looks like a, a pollen sack right there. But you can see those are hairs. Got the buddies out here as always. Alright, so I just decided that green tree there, or the evergreen with that green marking on the trunk of it, I still want to save it, so I'm going to cut these branches off of this tree. Because they're just going right into it over the top of it here, blocking its sunlight. Alright, well, I made a start into it. Getting this tree cleared out. There's gonna be a lot more sun coming through once I do this. Uh, I'm using that little Corona Razorback saw. I did a review on a little while ago. Still a good saw. Um, I just had the idea. I think I'm gonna run to the local hardware store if they're open. I'm gonna check real quick. And I'm gonna head over there and pick up a second little, probably like twenty, thirty dollar uh, folding saw. It's going to be different than this one, and then we can do a side-by-side -side comparison to them, so uh, I'll be right back if they're open. We got ourselves a new folding saw. This one's a tiny bit smaller. The other one I got now is 7 inch blade. This one's only a 5 and 3 quarter inch blade, but the steel PS10. Um, I guess this video is turning into a bit of a tool review on this saw now. So, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just get into it. This will be an unboxing. The first thing I noticed about this saw is it appears to only lock when it's open. Yeah, it locks open right there. A little latch for it right there, it locks on. And it does not lock closed. It's pretty tight when it's closed, but it's not locking. I don't know. We'll see, because the other one I got, uh, the Corona, it locks when it's closed. You cannot pull that out unless you press the button. So we'll see. This one feels a little bit lighter, uh, it's a little bit shorter. Not by much though. A lot of difference in the handle, but not as much in the blade. I think it should be good. We're about to put it to the test. Uh, in case you were wondering, this saw was about $22. So it's a couple dollars cheaper than that Corona I did a review on a few weeks ago now. 
Uh, but yeah. Okay, this is that same first bit of wood I cut with the other saw. So let's see what we can do with this. Make sure I got the blade locked in place there. Alright, here we go. Very nice. Oh, this wood's full of ants. This saw did very nice. I think, it, if anything, it might have even been quicker than the other saw. That's a nice, extremely nicely smooth cut there. This one seems like it's going to be no different. Looks pretty nice. Pretty good for about $20, $23. All right, well, it's day two now. Uh, I didn't actually film any more yesterday. Got kind of busy doing shit around here, making piles and stuff, and garbage, and trees. I got this gutter I gotta put up today, and then after I do that, it's all back to the saw. Um, one thing I found, is from I used it about three hours yesterday, and I had to tighten this screw up. The blade got a bit loose, but I guess that's to be expected. It happened with the other one as well, just like that. So, yep. Um, I'm going to do a bit on this gutter here, and then uh, maybe I'll time lapse that or something. It's not that interesting, I guess. But yeah, it's what I got to do today. And it's hot out now. So, we'll get on that, and then we'll get back with you guys. Go for the saw review. Alright, now with that out of the way, we can get back to the saw. This video has taken about three days to make now, um, and I've used this saw a little bit every day at least, for a little time, or not. Sometimes more, sometimes less. One thing I'll say is the screw, it did start coming loose, making the blade really loose, but I've noticed that's to be expected on these new saws when they come from the factory. The other one did it too. I tightened the screw up, um, pretty well and now there is a bit of it won't just fall out of there anymore you know you have to actually physically pull on it but I think as long as you stick it like th this end down in your pocket you should be all right um that's about it though I guess for now at least with these I'm gonna I'll show you cutting up one more of those branches over there probably grab a pretty pretty big one of those out and I'll cut that up on camera, but uh, other than that, yeah, I think if you want a saw, this is another great one to go out and consider. Personally, if you were only going to get one, um, I'd probably go with the Corona, just because it is a 7 inch blade. This is only 5 and 3 quarter inch, and I personally think the handle is a little more comfortable. It has, they've put more thought into it, it's, uh, it fills a little bit flimsy just like this one does 
um, in the plastic, but you know, what are you going to do these days? Um, but it actually has that nice rubber grip on it that gives you some grip, and I could see if you're going to be using this all day long, you may want to have that, but um, just for comparison, must be about, I'd say four inches, four and a quarter inches long. Judging that this blade's five and a quarter. I'm gonna set you guys up and we'll get going on it. This is my little makeshift stand here. <clears throat> well, I was just about through when I flipped it over. You might have picked up that halfway through that I didn't even have the little latch on. Um, pretty tiring to cut this thick of wood with a little saw like this, but it can be done. I'll just finish this one off real quick for you. And there we go. I expected to have to cut more on that actually. Pretty good sized bit of wood right there. That's quite, that's cleaner than a chainsaw would cut that. There's the review of the steel PS10. Um, it's a good little saw. It does the job. Only the time will tell now. We'll see how it goes when the first time I have to sharpen it and how well the blades that handles that. How long it lasts. Um, that's about it for this one guys. If you liked, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Cheers.